happy Thursday, everyone. This is Leah and Ryan from FeathersElitePigeonAuctions.com. Howdy. Howdy. We, happy Thursday. What is this? It's, it's Thursday. It's special. It's a very special uh, day today. Besides it being Halloween, yesterday we were supposed to do this fantastic show. We had some uh, technical difficulties with the camera, so we had our little trick done. But today, we've got an amazing treat for you. We want you to stay on for the whole show because at the end of this show, there's a treat of all treats. It's the best Halloween gift you're going to get as a pigeon man this or, year, I guarantee. Or woman. Or woman or child or whatever you are. Stay tuned to the end. the end of this show. And I promise you, we're going to blow your socks off. Who are we talking about today, Leah? Today, we are live with the lots. I'm going to do the split screen. Split me up on my half screen now. Am I in the screen? Your half screen. We are live with the lots featuring Jacob Portvlet, Jacob Portvlet, however you want to say it. I call he, him Jacob. I like him. He's he is man. a racing pigeon phenomenon. Our first of the season from the Netherlands. Super. Great job. We a, brought it to you. A little background information on Jacob and how we found Jacob and why we are auctioning off. His fantastic pigeons. Ryan, tell the story. <laughs> you know, so we said when we were in Houghton, where's Jacob? Where's Jacob? Do you remember? We looked high and low for Jacob. We couldn't find him. Yeah, we were at the Houghton <laughs> uh, exhibition in March. Ryan and I were both there. And we found him. We... And the, the whole phrase of the day is, where's Jacob? Where's Jacob? We couldn't find Jacob because if you've ever been to one of these expos in Europe, they are huge. And there are booths everywhere, and there's tons of people, and it was sort of like a scavenger hunt to try and find Jacob. But we finally found him. And when we did, we were not disappointed. The man himself is class all the way. Uh, go to his booth. Uh, it was kind of a letdown for me because when I got to the booth, he had all the empty show cages with one bird left. So he had been totally gone through. And I mean, at this point, tons of people still had birds, but I knew the quality was there. When I said to Jacob, I introduced myself, I was like, may I see that bird in the cage? And most people, when you see 20 empty cages and one bird, you'll think, well, hey, this one's not going to be the quality. And when he handed it to me, it was like falling in love. The bird was about, uh, I think the bird was about 12 weeks old at that time and absolutely chiseled out a granite pigeon. We talked with him. We had a great meeting with him. And hey. Here we are. Here we are. But you know what? He's an outstanding pigeon racing phenom. In the Netherlands. He races all distances. He's a master at it. His club is 20 members. Okay? That's not a big deal, is it, guys? No, it's not a big deal. 20 members in the club, five, six hundred birds per week. Ooh, whippy. But his combine or his province, there's 1,400 members. There's roughly about 20,000 birds per week. And this man, year in, year out, smoking them. Smoking them at the top. If you go on to our Auction page, Leah, where do they got to go to look up this man's current 2018-19 uh, results? 2019 results on our website on uh, Jacob's auction. If you look, click on the breeder information uh -huh. icon and you scroll all the way down past his article, you're going to see his 2019 race results. You're going to see the amount of pigeons that he is racing against every week. You are going to see his positions. You're going to see his best results of the season current, okay? We're talking about just this past season, the one that just passed. We're not talking about 25 years ago. Um, and they are going to knock your socks off. What I will do uh, after the broadcast is I will post his race results up on our Facebook page so everybody can take a look. Um, and if you're hot to trot and want to see him now, go on over to our website, featherseliepigeonauctions.com, breeder information, scroll all the way down, and you will see them. There are eight outstanding lots. Um, Jacob's birds win all over the world. They're winning in one loft races in the United States. Kenny Rhodes had some birds from Jacob, sent to South Africa, knocking off car wins, double car wins. Uh, guys here in, in Canada, they love his birds. We're also having this weekend for Jacob at the Feathers Elite headquarters uh, at our facility, we're having an open house. So you can come down if you're in the Toronto area Come down after lunchtime, please, after lunch. Don't come before lunch. Come after lunch, after 12, 12 till 4. You can take a look at these fantastic lots. They will be on display. You can handle them. Saves you flying to Holland. 
Saves you flying to Holland, and hey, handle before you bid. That's right. Making some smart... Uh, informative yeah, bids. Yeah, informative bids. And you know what's great? Jacob has tons of information on those pedigrees. Take a look. You'll be mind-boggled. I mean, he's got, the, he's got the goods, guys. He's got the goods, and we're bringing them to you. This week, Auction. this auction closes Saturday, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am going to get ready because we're going to start with we are. lot number one. I'm having some eye issues today, guys, so I apologize if... Well, you've seen a lot of scary things outside. I, uh, if Jeez, I, this hand's blown right out already. If I read the band numbers wrong, we're starting with lot one. Hey, let's hope I've got them in lot order correctly today. Oh, let's hope. <laughs> we're going to start with lot number one, Ryan. All, the band number. all right, NL19, 1186, sorry, 1184674. One, Blue checker hen. That is correct. Magic trick, original Jacob Portblay with W. Ustra, direct child of Super Racers, Olympic magician, and Specky. What do you got to say about lot number one? Well, I, you know what? This is going to be a good show. Just a little bit of droppings in the hand, a little excitement, but that's okay. I knew it was Halloween. This is an outstanding hen. I'm really getting it on me today. The shit's in here now. Jeez. <laughs> That's so, lucky. Sorry about that. Yeah, this could be. Lot number one. What an outstanding hen. She's put together nice, buoyant, compact, one finger keel to the vent. She's got a gorgeous looking face on her. Real intelligent, real calm, nice thick bars. She's got a beautiful, beautiful wing. Okay. Her father was a racing phenom. Excellent in the clock. Sire Olympic magician. Uh, Co-bred by uh, Jacob Portlet and W. Ustra. Super racer as a young bird. Winner of the third Olympic young bird in Poznan, Poland for this past year, 2019. For the Netherlands, 2019. Six National Young Bird, WHZB 2018, Eighth Young Bird Olympiad 2019, First Wurt against 6,505 Pigeons, First the Brain against 5,971 Pigeons, and then we go on and on, Six, 18th, 19th, 36th, 48th. Grandson of Super Breeder Golden Black Leo, who is that sire to countless first prize winners. This is a super, your lot number one, folks. And, and you know what else I, I like in this pedigree? You're going to see there's a bird there. It's called Royal Daughter. Okay? It's down in the back there. She was an outstanding hen for Jacob. Uh, I mean, literally, the bird won 45 prizes. That means the bird consistency, consistency, consistency. You're also going to see... And Ace Old Bird, by the way. Now, and Ace Old Bird. That is correct. Uh, you'll also see on the damn side there, you're going to see a one lot race winner in there. It, or actually, was an, uh, an ace average and down in the back. Oh, this bird out of shit again. Unbelievable. That's a that's a double special. Bird. That's a, this is a double super special. Uh, also, you're gonna see on the mother's side. You're gonna see the Jan. Okay, you'll see him from Leo Hermans. Yeah, on the first side, national. In the I back mean, end. this bird here is loaded, ready to breed. Back is strong. Again, I don't think she likes the camera, the bright lights, but hey, sometimes this happens. Take a look at her. You're lot number one. I mean, I'll rank this bird out of out of 100. Right now, it's so still so young. My three-second roll on this will be about a 97. 97 out of 100 on lot number one. Uh, once again, direct child from Olympic magician and Olympiad winner this past year in Poznan, Poland. Current bid on lot number one, 500 Canadian dollars. Ooh. Reminder, Ooh. this auction closes Saturday. Yeah, and you can, you know what? Come on down Saturday after lunch, after 12. Come down, you can handle all the birds on display. And uh, you can make your decisions for yourself. I know last weekend was a super busy weekend. We had people there from quarter to 12, right till... 8.30. But we love it. Hey, that's why we're here. We're here to help you guys make informative bids and make it as easy as possible. We're going to move on to lot number two. Read the band number, please. Ooh, lot number two. Here we go. NL 2019-118462. Two. 
a blue checker hen. This is Wizard's daughter, original Jacob Portvillier, with W. Ustra, full sister of Olympic magician, Olympiad winner, 2019 Poznan, Poland. Just as we spoke about in your lot number one, this is a full sister to Olympic magician. Lot two, what do you got to say about lot oh, two, Ryan? You know, she's nice, she's compact, a little bit deeper. She's got still got the muscle. She's got a very sharp looking face, gorgeous eye on her. Again, if you look on the mother's side of this, you've got the, uh, the, the golden black Leo. Yeah, we've got uh, Dam is Golden Wizard. Yeah. Um, and the father of Golden Wizard is, of course, Golden Black Leo, a super breeder. Mm -hmm. And you've got that hen we talked about there earlier in lot one. You see her. She's there. She sticks right out at you. The Royal's Royal, daughter. Royal daughter. Total of 45 prize cards. Ace <laughs> Old Bird. Ace Short Distance Club. A super racer and royal daughter. Mm -hmm. um, who else have we got here? We've got in the back end a uh, Jeanette from Leo Herman's. Uh, we've got uh, Giorgio, another top breeder from uh, Leo Herman's and Rudy Deals. Hey, and those two birds, when they paired them together, later on the show we'll talk about it a little bit more, but those two paired together brought a double car winner in the South African million dollar race for Kenny Rhodes. Ooh wee. So, we're, this bird here has got all the performances you're looking for. It can handle the big stage. It can handle quarantines. It can handle putting them on a plane and sending them to Africa. They can handle it and you can feel it in this bird she's an absolute beauty she's still got one flight to go again as i said a lot too is a full sister of olympic magician very very buoyant very nice and again it's 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 a, you have a shot at owning a, a sister of a super sister of an olympiad winner yeah olympiad winner that's right and get much better folks lot number two what's your three second rule my three second rule, I'm going to give this one about a 98 and a half. 98 and a half? I think the last two, you'll see them in, a, in when they, they fully develop in, in about a year's time. These will be right around 100. Oh, reminder to everybody, all lots featured in this week's auction are um, 2019. Never been tried, never been tested, never been raced, never been bred for the taking. So you guys can take them home and do your thing with them. Uh, you know what? Jacob, Jacob wants to know. If you get a result, please let him know. This is how this works. Current bid, I don't know if I said it already on lot two, 300 Canadian dollars. Auction closes. When does the auction close, Ryan? It closes at 8 o'clock Saturday night. This Saturday coming. 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Where do you bid? www.featherselitepigeonauctions.com Bringing you the best from Europe. And this week, the best from the Netherlands. Right. Lot number three. Read the band number. This is a very special bird. This, is, is. A, this is a first time for us, too. It is the first time that we've, yeah, for okay. the lineage. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Here we go. NL 2019-1184615. I'm going to call this a dark checker. Would you yeah. say dark checker? I'd say dark checker. I'd say dark checker cock. Golden kittle. A little bit of kittle here. You heard it right, folks. Original Jacob Portliet. Inbred kittle. Dirk Vandebulk, direct child of Golden Black Leo, grandsire to Olympic magician. Who's Olympic magician again? Olympiad Young Bird winner, 2019 Poland. Lot number three, we got some kittle going on. Uh, and guys, if you've all not known, if you don't know what kittle's done, take a chance, look it up. Uh, he was outstanding, the best young bird in Belgium in 2013. He ended up being the best uh, old bird, best cock as well. And this is an inbred kittle because inbred kittle. Uh, you got kittle on both sides on the on the uh, the mother's side. Yeah, both inbred. The the dam is uh, an inbred kittle. And I'll tell you, the the feeling on this bird is absolutely amazing in your hand. He's a little bit deeper, but that's okay. He, he he's got the muscle, nice strong keel bone, one and a half fingers keel to the vent. The vents are strong, just slightly open. He's got a nice catchy face to him. It looks good. Again, he's a handsome fellow, lot number three. He, he's very, very nice. You've got that black Leo in there again. And then what do we see? We've got Giorgio and Jeanette. Yes, because we've got um, the sire of your lot number three is Golden Black Leo. Mm -hmm. um, again, a super breeder. And that's down from? And that is down from Giorgio and Jeanette. And Giorgio and Jeanette bred a double car winner in the South African million dollar race. So you've got the best of the kittle blood. You've got the best of Jacob's blood put into this. This is a total package. You know what I'd say, Leah? 
I'd throw one, I'd throw this bird right here onto lot one and two all day long. And so excited that we, this is our first, um, our first experience uh, with the kittle. With the, we've not had them. This and, is the and first kittle this ever. This is the first kittle. And this is history. We're making history here, we're, folks. We're breaking records. Now, that's not might not be big for you people at home. It's but here in the studio. It's a big deal. This is big. <laughs> Anyways, I think you're going to really, really like this, this, this guy here. I'm going to score him about a 95 out of 100. Current bid on um, lot number three, 300 Canadian dollars. I guarantee you, you're not going to find an inbred kittle like this. Um, look on both sides of the pedigree. You can't find bloodlines like this for that price anywhere. Go over to Europe, try it out. Tell me if you can come back with better parents. Ain't gonna, this. ain't gonna happen, folks. Can't do it. Can't be done. Lot number three. We're gonna move on to lot number four. Galeed, thanks so much for tuning in. Jacob's bringing it, eh? Jacob's bringing it. Oh boy. Here Always we go. nice to see you tuning in, friend. Yes. Moving on to lot number four. Ooh, I gotta just. This is a nice one. Oh, okay. I like this one. Here we go. This is, oh, I think our, our first our first little bit of little bit of piding in yeah. the season here. A little bit of war paint. Here we go. NL 2019-1184680. You would call this a uh, you could call it either a blue splash blue or splash. a blue pied blue or a blue pied. white flight splash. He you, is a handsome one. Blue Prince, original Jacob Portflet, son yep. of brother Blue Princess, who is Blue Princess. Blue Princess wins first national ace WHZB 2015, bred from a long line of proven breeders who produce That's champions, something. including the legendary Casbor bloodlines of Govertz and Van de Wauer in your lot number four. Hey, you got to remember on this one too, on the I believe it's on the mother side, it's in, inbred to the Casbor 481. Super bird for Jacob. Uh, again, you know he's a super when he's on his catalog. You'll see him in there. I believe this. there's national blood as well in here. The, the, the father's, uh, I think it's the father's brother or sister was a first national as well. So Yeah, the sire on your yeah. lot number four is Brother Blue Princess. Uh, Blue Princess wins in 2015. First national ace long distance. First ace long distance. I mean, that's a big deal. We're talking about if you, to be an ace, you get you're flying against twenty to twenty-five thousand birds. Like that's a big deal. And you'll also see here in the pedigree, you're gonna see a little bit of that Van Loon blood. I love this bird when I'm handling him. He's vib vibrates all the way through. He's a little bit longer. Vents are nice and strong, tucked up. He's super soft feather, very very soft, silky. He's got a beautiful wing. He's got two broken flights on the same flight on each wing. That's a, I've never seen that before, but hey. You might be able to catch that in the camera, but the uh, he's still got two flights to go. A very, very nice, handsome, handsome cockbird. I can't wait to see this bird uh, develop. Very rich eye. Gorgeous. Just wanted to make mention that the grandsire of your lot number four, Soderland Prinz 178, won himself in 2012 in a one-loft race in Germany. Yes, that's right. I mean, the results are incredible. There's so much information packed on these pedigrees. And the, the Gaston um, Vander, the Vanderwaer is in here. I mean, the Van Loon is in here. Uh, Airy Dykstra. Yeah, you've got it all. I mean, Jacob knows where to go to add in pigeons. And you can just see because he just keeps knocking it out of the park with top results against thousands of pigeons week in, week out. I'm going to score this bird out of 100. I'll give it about 100 out of 100. It's, it's, it's a super, super nice pigeon. I think you're going to love it. 100 out of 100, lot four. We got a winner. We got a winner. Uh, current bid on lot four, 225 <sighs> Canadian dollars. Jesus. Well, I don't expect them to end this, at this price. Well, I but think it's, it's people early. were waiting for the show, Ryan. I think they I think were waiting. I think it's the show. I think it's the show. I think, you know, it could be the show. I mean, hey, again, like I said... I go out for dinner and people are stopping me and asking for autographs. I don't know why. See, no one knows what I look like, so I don't have that problem. When I speak sometimes, they're like, hey, are you that girl from yeah. Feathers Lee? Uh, you know what? It is what it is. <laughs> lot number five. Read the band number, please. All right, here we go. Lot number five. NL 19-1184-683. Blue Checker Hen, Nikita's Wizard. Great. Original Jacob Portlet, cousin to Olympic magician, 
eighth best youngster in the Olympiad poll in 2019. Half brother was also a super, wins first Chimay, uh, sixth, second, 60 sixth provincial, third, fourth, fourth, fifth, seventh. Sister also is a, a super racer. You know, and, and you're gonna also see again in this pedigree the golden, golden black Leo. You're gonna see Giorgio and Jeanette, but also on the mother's side here, this is the real, the real something nice here. You're gonna see a, a bird called Olympic Meals. Oh yeah. Okay, and that is a super out of DiCaprio. Okay, from Herman Custard's and uh, Dirk Van Dyke. <laughs> Dirk Van Dyke, that's right, the Cannonball. This hen is gorgeous again. Let me talk about her, Leah, while you get your air. She's a little nervous in the show, so her tail wants to, it's not as tight, she wants to open it a bit, but hey, I'm being honest with you, she's super buoyant. One finger keel to the vent, vent bones are up, just slightly a little bit open, very, very buoyant, sharp looking hen. She's not overly nervous in front of the camera, I'm gonna bring her up so you can see. But uh, again, nothing but class here from Jacob. Still got three flights to go. Nice swing, nice strong arm. You can feel these birds for middle and long distance and the short distance races, it has it all. Vibration, vibration, vibration. Whew. We also have on the sire side, uh, your favorite royal daughter. You're right, she's there. Total of 45 uh, prizes. We've got your golden black Leo. Mm -hmm. And in the back back, we have, of course, Giorgio and Janet. We got winners, Leah. We got one lap winners. We got Federation winners. We got national winners. We got DiCaprio in there. What what are we missing? You're not gonna go wrong. Well, you're not gonna go wrong. You're Chalk, these, pads, these, these pads are just chock full of winners here, winners there, winners everywhere. And you know what? I'm on Facebook. Do you know how many times I see reference for Jacob on there? All the time. People are shouting out, oh, top reference, top reference. Guys, there's a reason why when I go to Houghton. And there's 250 booths. It's midday, and I find Jacob finally. He's so and his empty. show cages are all empty except for one. There's, there's a, a reason why. There's a reason why, folks. Okay. Hey, uh, we must be doing something right, because in the middle of our show, we just got a bid. Really? On, yes, we did. We just got a bid. <laughs> Wait a minute. I think that could be a first. <laughs> we just got a bid on lot number five. Uh, current bid on lot number five, two hundred twenty-five dollars. Thanks it's a steal. to uh, the bidder who placed a bid. Good job. That's uh, like we planned it, but we didn't. Jesus, you know what? I <laughs> this is Halloween for you. I told you, Leah, the camera troubles yesterday. There must have been something spooky going on. There must be a reason for it, and here we are. <laughs> Woo, we're getting into the Caesar's Palace now. Lot number six. Okay. Uh, also, want to make mention, guys. Be sure to stay tuned to the end of the show because we've got a very special giveaway. Yeah, this giveaway is, this is, it, it was perfect to spell right on Halloween, Leah. Yeah. It's the ultimate treat for you pigeon guys that are interested in the Jacob Birds. Lot number six, read the band number. Okay, NL19118465. Blue Bar Cox, Caesar's Revenge. Oh boy. Original Jacob Portlet, inbred Caesar, half brother to New Thunder. Winner of first Quiverain against 3,000 pigeons, first Sens um, against 1,000 pigeons, ninth sector, first, fourth, 32nd, grandson to top racer Hilly. Winner of first Haslet against 14,000 pigeons, uh, first St. Quentin against 1,700 pigeons, uh, second NPO, I mean, I can literally, first ace old bird, like, wow, <laughs> it's a mouthful. And, and you know what, Leah, you missed some of the good parts there. If you look on the mother's side, you've got the the grandsire there, Blue Thunder, I believe. He was a super, super breeder, super racer, Blue Thunder. Blue I Thunder, yeah, yeah, on the damn side. And you've got, again, where does Jacob go? Who doesn't mind going over to see Gabby, taking a, taking a, a, a son off of uh, Rudy, or a brother of Rudy, he's got in the, in the back do, there We do, brother well. Rudy at the back end on the mother's side, Gabby Van in the deal. This is, of course, an inbred Caesar. We've got Caesar on the dam and the sire side. And um, the sire is last son, Hilly. Hilly, that's right. So this is sort of like a last to be offered. Last son, Hilly, who is Hilly? Hilly is damned to a bunch of winners, and she's also a super racer herself. She was. Con consistency again. And it, it showed right over when she went into the breeding loft. Look at the keen, sharp look on this guy here. Again, he's very, very nice. Packed with muscle. His back does come slightly up just a little bit. He's got a nice wing. Very, very strong arm through here. 
He's loaded with muscle, silky feathers. Again, unfortunately, guys, I want to apologize. He is molten, so he's healthy. He's looking good. He's going to look fantastic once the spring hits. Very, very sharp looking pigeon. Great eye. Nice pigeon. I mean, I'm going to rank this one. I would give it about a 96 and a half. 96 and a half out of 100 on your lot, number six. It's blown out in the basket. I think this is just an awesome bird. And again, guys, still very, very, very young. This bird's still got two, four. It's got five flights to go. Five flights. Very young. Five pins to go. One of the youngest of the year right now that we've auctioned off. Yeah. But yeah. you can feel the quality in it. They've like, got all the best blood. They're like little teenagers. Hey, if right you now. want one out of Hilly, you've got it right here. Lot number six, current bid, 200 Canadian dollars. Jesus. Get in there, guys. Don't trip over this and make the mistake. I mean, if we were in Houghton right now, Leah, you see these birds by the time the show would be done? They'd be gone. They'd all be gone. Moving on to our next lot. What's the next lot? Lot number eight. Lot number eight. Now, oh. you're probably wondering why we went from six to eight, but again, you got to watch to the end of the show. Guys, that, would that be called a trick or a treat? <laughs> a little bit of both. A little bit of both. Okay, here we go. Lot number eight. Lot number eight. Read the banner. Woo! NL 2019 118461. Beautiful blue bar hen, baby blue princess, original Jacob Portlet, full sister to national ace long distance winner, blue princess, direct child of Soderlon Prinz 178, uh, a Germany one loft winner, bred from a long line of one loft racing champions. That's right. And you'll see also on the father's side, you're going to see some of the old Jansen blood in there. And you're going to see another bird that... Uh, did great in one loft racing or a great uh, the floor Varuk bird the finicky 5000 he's in there this hen here she's full of fight her back is not the strongest it comes up it slightly opens but her feather quality is simply out of this world I can barely hang on to her she's packed full of fight uh, she's buoyant but I said her back does come up and it does slightly open guys I'm handling it for you her vent bones they're a little bit small, but she's got lots of muscle. And this pedigree screams one loft winners. So, and we all know what we're interested in here in North America, folks. And, and it's wanna, winning a one loft. You race. know what? I've handled a lot of one loft birds that haven't handled the skies out, and I almost feel when I handle this bird, you can see this bird winning, and you're going, it's just not the best in your hands, and you kind of shake your head and you wonder why. But when you look in the background, you look in the family, guys. Maybe the back's not the strongest. Maybe the vents aren't the strongest. But we can't see inside of them. That's what we can't see. We can't see their mind and we can't see their heart. All we do is grate them on what we like in our hands. And you want me to tell you something? Take a shot at this one. Because you've got all the best of the blood in here. I wanted to uh, say thanks to Dave for tuning in. And a special thank you for Bart Verdan, who is tuning in. Thanks for the support, Bart. Thanks, Bart. Yes. Thanks and for supporting our auction and uh, for supporting Jacob's auction. And speaking of Bart, he's got an auction coming up next week. Hey, that's right. And also, you, what we're going to see in the background on this as well is you're going to see the Van Loon blood. Okay? So please, Silver Boy's in there. Silver Princess is in there. Again, you've got a little bit of Van, Van Loon in here. We've got the Van Loon. We've got the Jansen. We've got the Verboot. Uh, we've got the Airy Dykstra. Who else? God, we've got so much going on here. It, it, there's a lot. And I'm going to tell you, if you're looking for super feather quality, softness, if that's your, your, your kick that you love, this hen 1,000% has it. Her feather quality makes up for a few of her other little flaws. And guys, again... You're going to use her to breed. So you've got the best bloodlines. Pair it up. Breed her up to a super handling cockbird. And you know what I think you're going to get? A real treat out of this. I wanted to say, I don't know if I said at the beginning when we were introducing the lot, uh, that this is a, a sister of Blue Princess. Blue Princess, winner of two, in 2015, <laughs> first national ace long distance. Yes, I was waiting for you to come there, Leah. I talked about the grandparents. And I wanted to see, and you this came is, right back yeah, at this it. Is a, national, right off a of national winner, guys. Yeah, sister of. Direct sister of in your lot number eight. Current bid on lot number eight, 275 Canadian dollars. Uh, Ryan, did you give your rule? Uh, did you give me three? Uh, she did score a little low. I score, I'm going to score about an 86, 85, 86. Um, again, if I was rating for feather quality, this bird would be 
150 in the feather quality. You, you don't always feel them this soft. And if you're rating on pedigree, uh, it's, you've got I it mean, all here. I mean, it's out of the, yeah. out, now, of the out of the park, man. North Americans, you want one lot blood? We brought it for you here. Jacob has it in his loft. He races with it. He wins with it. He's not afraid to bring a one loft bird in, breed it to his own to fly. Top results. One loft winner, national winner. Lot eight. Keith Woods, thanks for tuning in. Thank you, Keith. Samir, thanks for tuning in. Man, what, what, I think we're changing our show. We might have to do it a little earlier. You know what? We're going to call our show the happy hour. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> now, lot, are we ready to roll on? Lot number nine. I really like lot number nine. Whoa. Our it's, first our first war paint of the season. Love it. Love true, it. true war paint here. And people say, well, what's war paint? Leah, what is war paint? War paint? <laughs> Let's take a look at your lot number nine. Oh, boy. The big man on campus. Here he is. NL 2019 118468. Oh boy. Pied? Yes. He's a big pie. Piedcock, inbred 481 Cosbor, original Jacob Porblet, inbred of Super 481 Cosbor by Joseph Govarts, bred from a dynasty of top racers and super breeders, brother of 777 Kasparinki, Dam to Frau Ante. First National Chalons and Champagne Sector Sector 4 against 6,919 birds in 2019. Highest speed of, are you sitting down for this, 37,447 birds. So war paint can fly. That's incredible. Isn't that something? This bird's got a beautiful wing. Uh, he's packed with muscle. He's a little bigger, a little deeper, like a ship in the ocean, but just packed with muscle. Strong, strong arm. He's vicious in the loft. I mean, absolutely vicious. He sort of does that, what we call here in North America, the angel wings when he crouch up. He kind of likes to do that a little bit. One pin tail in the back. His back is nice and strong. He's full of fight. Take a look at him. I mean, the pedigree's phenomenal. That Cosbor blood, you can't go wrong. Inbred of uh, Super 481 Cosbor, both on the sire and dam side. Yeah, and, and and this was one of Jacob's his picks when I talked to him on the phone. I said, Jacob, what what are you thinking? And he said, Oh, I really like I love lot number nine. I can see why. I can see why. Yeah, the pad is chock a block full again of winners. So much information here. Still molten heavy though. Still got three flights to go. Great, great wing. Um, yeah, I mean, guys, if you're looking for performance, you're looking for that Casbor blood. You've got it here inbred. Right, the best right from Jacob here. Current bid on lot number nine, 275 Canadian dollars. What's your three second rule? Uh, I'm gonna give this guy easy 100 out of 100. 100 out of 100 yeah, on lot he, number he's, nine. He's got the quality, he's got everything I like. I can just see this bird just tear up the sky. He, he has no inbred feel to him. I mean, maybe his face has a little bit of an inbred look, but I mean, boy. He is handsome. He's handsome, beautiful eye sign. Man, I like this one. If you like the pretty ones, which I do. You did a lot of kicking butt this and year. And I did pretty. kick and butt with pretty ones, so. Now we got Aaliyah. Dave, thanks for tuning in. Let's get ready for that Halloween treat we were talking about. So here we go, our big announcements. Big announcements. Big announcements. Should I read the band number first, Leah? Read the band number. Okay. <laughs> you know, 19, 1, 1, 8, 4, 6, 3, Six. A beautiful blue bar cock. Money Bank's brother, this pigeon right here, was our lot number seven. It is now going to the highest bidder of the Jacob Portblet auction. The highest bidder is going to receive this fantastic blue bar cock, Money Bank's brother. I mean, I don't even know if we need to say anything else. Money Bank's brother, what a great name. Bird one. Two cars in South Africa, million dollar race. Why are we giving away to the highest bidder? There is a little bit of doubt as to perhaps who the father might be on this um, lot number seven, which is now going to the highest bidder. And if there's any doubt, what do we do? We pull it out. Yeah, and the pedigree says it's out of Giorgio and Jeanette. Giorgio and Jeanette, which are um super breeders for jacob they are his absolute top producing couple 
and there was just a little bit of doubt as to perhaps who the father might be at the last minute we had a conversation with jacob and we just decided if the breeder was in doubt and we were a little bit in doubt that we were going to remove him from the auction but give him away to the highest bidder uh, and i'll tell you you're yeah. gonna get a real gift on this one he's a nice bird he hates the camera he hates when you handle him he's so full of muscle when you see him in the loft, he stands like a stud. Put him in your hands, he's tight, his back's tight, but he, all he does is he wants to fight you. He says, hey, I'm Money Bank's brother. I win cards, I put money in the bank. You have a real opportunity to win this bird. Now, Leah, how in the world can you get this bird? How do you get him? Because you can't bid on him. You can't bid on him, no, but uh, he is going to the highest overall bidder of total sales of the Jacob auction is going to get uh, this beautiful cockbird. The best of the best. You want the best of the one loft blood? This is your shot right here. You're wondering, double car winner? This is his brother. 2019, he's never tried. He's never raced, he's never flown. And we wanna uh, thank Jacob for offering this to the highest um, bidder and uh, for just being great about um, yeah about this whole situation not, not a problem I, he was class the whole way working with jacob has been a privilege it's ever, ever since i found him in houghton he's been number one he is um, an absolute stand-up gentleman um he has given us so much information so much assistance um with the creation of his auction um just from his race results to the information on the peds to sending us photos of the breeders he's just been great uh, he's always there when we have a question to ask him um, and uh, always answering and he's just he's been a delight yeah go on there message him now messenger he's on there friend request them if you have any questions guys you still have time ask him what his picks were yeah shoot him a message I believe this was one of his picks <laughs> it was a lot uh, which was lot number seven which is going to the highest bidder was one of Jacob's picks, I believe as well, lot nine, you had said? Lot nine, and I think it was lot five. And lot five were, were Jacob's um, picks. So if you're wondering, hey, what would the breeder pick? Of course, he'd pick them all, but if he really had to pick, those are the three that he would pick. Um, you're going to join us on Saturday morning. We will have our own loft manager picks, of course, where we will let you know what uh, loft manager Ryan and loft manager Richard have picked for this auction. We will do that. We want to thank Jacob for uh, working with us. Great job. We want to thank you guys for tuning in. I think the uh, the uh, Thursday afternoon show, man, we had more response. We had from Belgium, all over Canada, United States. We that might have good. so we might have to change it, switch it up next week, and do it a little bit earlier on in the day, so that way our friends from Europe can can tune in, can tune in which is great because we love the support. And uh, we love the support from you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please remember, auction closes this Saturday, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, also wanted to make mention our open house where we will have all of Jacob's lots on display. You can come and handle before you bid from uh, 12 to 4 at our office, uh, Feathers Lead Headquarters. Come on down, handle the birds, have some beer. Let's have, do some, have something to eat, handle some great pigeons. Guys, it's, it's an outing. It gets you out of the house. You can see from the very best from the Netherlands. It's here. It's in North America. You have an opportunity. Try them out, guys. Remember, you're not flying these. You're taking them home and you're breeding them. You're going to breed them to top birds in your loft to improve your breeding stock, to improve your races, to improve your one loft performances. Okay? Right there, the highest bidder is going to receive... The lot number seven that now is no longer lot seven, uh, that is what I call, Leah, a trick, a treat. It's also called money in the bank. Money in the bank. I'm done with this, Leah. Thanks so much for tuning in. Thank you to Jacob and his family. Guys, have a happy, safe Halloween. Have a happy Halloween to everybody and to the kitties. And we will see you Saturday morning with our loft manager picks. Thank you. Thanks, guys.